As an artist and as a designer, you should know your taste. That's pretty much what defines you most, and you probably don't want to be working in something that you don't like doing. As a child, I was always entrepreneurial with my efforts. It was always something to do with giving a product to someone and branding it in a certain way. Prospector Co. products are sensitive skin geared products. They moisturize the skin and condition the hair follicle, smell a certain way, and when composed with other oils, create a full package. When we started the brand, it was just a core of four products and almost immediately had interest from, from retailers, primarily mixed brand boutiques, men's clothing stores, and Barney's department stores, and barber shops. We instill the old-fashioned way of shaving, which is using double-edged razors and even straight razors. It's a generational cycle and not just a rebuying cycle. In Savannah, just things feel a little bit more precious than they do in, in larger cities. There's more of a, a nurturing community aspect to each of the small businesses that open. I've always had an interest in uh, vintage stuff and gone thrifting and things like that. Well, for the design elements, it's primarily from turn-of-the-century medicinal bottles. Doctors would hand-cut and hand-print their prescription labels, so I was really inspired by the look of that and the appeal of having things handmade. I studied graphic design at SCAD, and I graduated in 2006. I learned to create something that's legible and can be understood by many different people. You have to lose a little bit of the self-indulgent side and connect all the dots with other people's interest as well. You have to go with your instinct, and if it feels right, you have to persevere, and you have to believe strongly in what it is that you're doing. Just stick with it, and your instincts and your passions will develop for you.